After that announcement, many South Carolinians are faced with the reality that tonight may be their final meal out in quite some time. Tonight, we're hearing from people who eat out and restaurant owners alike. News News' Danielle Seda joins us live from downtown Charleston with the latest. Danielle, a little quiet down there tonight. You would think so, Brendan, but actually not so much. There's a line to get into the bar right behind me. As you know, tonight is the last hurrah for many bars and restaurants, at least for a little while, until officials can get the spread of this virus under control. Patrons believe that this shutdown of dine-in services will be a hard pill to swallow for restaurants and bars. A lot of people are struggling, probably pay rent for their businesses, so it's possibly put a lot of people out of business. And some patrons say it'll also put the food industry workers in a tough spot. We found a great pizza place that we went to and had a great meal. And at the end of the meal, the waitress had expressed to us that her job come tonight, come tomorrow, is gone. And her restaurant's closing. They're not doing takeout. They can't afford takeout and so she's out of work for what could be eight to twelve weeks. For restaurant manager Alan Vandell of Tommy Condon's, the announcement on St. Patrick's Day was anything but lucky. Everybody's upset that this is happening. I mean the irony is not lost on me that this is happening on St. Patrick's Day. And he tells me the fear of what tomorrow could bring is universal. Everybody's everybody's worried and concerned. Uh, they're frustrated. They want to know more. But until they have to close their doors, Vandal tells me his bar will keep the good times rolling. We're going to have as much fun as we can, uh, serve as many people as we can legally. This is my last day to make some money. Now the restaurant says they're going to regroup tomorrow and possibly talk about doing some takeaway or delivery. For now, I'm live in downtown Charleston. Danielle Seda, count on two.